<laughs> Welcome to Jerry's Fish Room. Welcome back to Jerry's Fish Room. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, been a little busy, uh, but we are back. Uh, been about a week and a half, and so uh, I'm excited to be back at getting another video out on the channel for you all to enjoy. Thank you so much for all of those that have subscribed. We've hit 50 subscribers. I think the last time I checked, we were at 53. Uh, so let's raise the goal. We're going to go up to 100 now. That's the next goal. Uh, but again, thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed. For those that have watched, um, please, in the comments on these videos, uh, please feel free to let me know uh, other topics that you want. Give me uh, some of your thoughts on the videos. Would love to hear from you. And again, thank you so much. So this week, I want to just get into... Uh, Basically, five reasons why uh, I think we should all keep fish. Um, I, they're my top five. Uh, they're really not in any order, uh, but they're my top five reasons. And uh, to quote Mr. Ben Ochart, yes, I'm going to give you a bonus one at the end as well. Uh, love that guy. Love his channel. Ben Ochart, uh, you can check him out on uh, YouTube. Uh, amazing guy amazing information so go check out his channel uh, but here's my top five reasons why I want to uh, keep fish and number one um, it is an opportunity for me to keep nature in my home uh, how many times do we walk by bodies of water and often wonder what's in them what, are they, what does it look like? Um, I know that here in Florida, I am surrounded by water. There is so much of it around. Uh, you know, we got the ocean uh, on either coast. Uh, we have a ton of uh, rivers and lakes and uh, retention ponds. And, you know, in all of those bodies of water, there is something going on that we really don't see. Now, naturally, the fish I keep, uh, they're not native to Florida. Uh, but, you know, it, it is a, um, just a small sample of what uh, nature looks like. And, uh, man, it's just absolutely amazing to watch, uh, you know, nature unfold in your home. Uh, you know, I bred a few fish to see the process of, of uh, for me, it's been African cichlids uh, to, you know, spawn, to hold. Uh, to raise the little fry, to see them grow up, uh, you know, to watch them uh, as they eat, to watch what their habits are, their, um, you know, how skittish some fish are and how more, um, I guess, outgoing or relaxed other fish are. Uh, but you got just the natural beauty of nature that you get to bring in your home. And so that's one of the main reasons that I really, truly, truly enjoy um, keeping these fish uh the second is man i don't know about you guys but sometimes life can get a little crazy uh can be um you know just a lot of things going on and it is uh, one of the ways that i can keep my mind occupied uh it is a hobby that i absolutely love to do and when i'm working uh you know on my fish tanks and and focusing on doing the things that I need to keep them clean, to changing them up, to adding new fish, uh, to the recent uh, project that I have underway, which I'll uh, probably post the first video in the first week or two uh, after this one, it is um, resealing a 180 gallon aquarium so that I can create a new home for my South Americans. Uh, you know, it's, it's always about just keeping my mind uh, occupied. I just love the idea because there's times I just get lost into this hobby. Uh, and I can just, um, you know, be so focused on what's going on that I forget the world around. And so uh, some of those things that, uh, you know, can be, you know, stressful or annoying, which we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but it's just a great way to keep your mind occupied, to keep thinking, keep busy. Um, and I just absolutely love it. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there, and let me know down in the comments, uh, that the work on the hobby is um, harder than the, uh, or, or less enjoying than uh, the actual fish and to sit back and feed them and watch them and, 
uh, just uh, watch all of that transpire. But to me, again, number two for me is to keep my mind busy. Uh, number three, which it ties into um, a lot into this as well, is, um, and I'm looking down a lot because I'm I got my trusty note uh, or Samsung here that I got my notes on. Uh, is stress relief. Number three is stress relief. This is the reason why I got in the hobby in the first place. Um, and I think I've shared this with you guys before, but if you haven't uh, um, heard it in the very first uh, video, I think is when I may have shared it, or second video, um, is the reality of it was uh, about, I'll be four years now, I think it is four, going on five, uh, in this hobby. Um, but four to five years ago, I uh, was dealing with some chest pains. I uh, had a bit, bit, bit of a struggle with that, um, you know, and naturally when you get over 50, uh, you start uh, wondering about those types of things. And so I went to a heart doctor just to check everything out. Uh, fortunately, everything was okay, no issues, uh, no heart disease, nothing like that. But uh, there was a lot of stress in my life during that time. And, and the doctor just was pretty clear. He said, look, he said, you're good now. He says, uh, but I highly suggest you find something that will help you relieve the stress in your life because if you don't, then you, the next time you come back, it may be a different story. And so for me, I went home and told my wife, I said, look, hey, everything is good. I'm fine and dandy. I'm healthy. And uh, uh, doctor says that I need to find some stress relief. And, uh, you know, about 25, 30 years ago, I grabbed a tank and I vaguely remember I kind of enjoyed it, but circumstances were not quite what they needed to be. And I wasn't able to stick with the hobby. I'd love to just actually try to do that because I think sitting at home at night, the lights off and the lights on in the aquarium and just staring at these beautiful fish and watching them would be some stress relief. And so lo and behold, about five years ago or four years ago, I got my first 55 gallon tank. And then, uh, man, I just absolutely loved it. I had some Mbuna in it. Um, and there's a couple of the original fish that's still in here. Um, I got a Lithrobates and uh, one of the yellow labs. That's still one of the original fish that I got. And, uh, man, I'm telling you what, I absolutely um, come into my fish room when things are stressful. Uh, and I just turn the lights off. I relax. I chill out. And... Uh, absolutely love uh, watching these fish and it does relieve stress so if you've got a lot of stress in your life go get a tank be awesome way to get started in this uh, uh, the third reason uh, or excuse me the fourth reason is um, that I put in here is to expand my knowledge uh, one of the things I love to do when I get involved in something is I want to learn as much about it as I possibly can. Um, and I'm going to tell you what, when it comes to fish and this hobby, there is so much to learn. <clears throat> um, man, I'm telling you, I'm starting to dabble in areas I never thought I'd even start to dabble in. Um, you guys go back to the second video. You'll see my fish room. Uh, I'm going to do another quick shot of where it's at right now. Uh, nothing, not much has changed, uh, but I want to give you that as a start because it's fixing to get all different in here uh, when I add the 180 gallon uh, to, and get it up and running. But uh, man, I'm already thinking about what, what I can do with these next tanks. Uh, or with the, you know, when I start shifting some stuff around. And one of the areas that I'm going to start dabbling in I'm going to do a dirted tank, deep substrate dirted tank. Uh, I have been uh, just, uh, man, watching as much YouTube videos as I can, just grabbing as much information as I can, uh, learning all of this stuff that I can learn about this hobby. Um, and, and I find that, quite frankly, it's, it's so enjoyable uh, to, to know uh, more about what you're doing, to learn more about the hobby. And man, there's still so much more uh, that's out there for me to learn. So uh, man, number four reason why uh, to keep fish is a great way to expand your knowledge. Um, number five uh, is kind of cool for me. Um, 
something I never really even thought about uh, getting into this hobby. But as I've been in the hobby, um, if I know what I know now, um, that would have been one of the top reasons why I joined into the hobby. And that is to find new friends. Uh, man, I'm telling you what, there's nothing more cool than to find someone with a common interest of keeping fish and, and just connecting with those people. And man, you gain some really tremendous friendships out of it. Um, yeah, I got two specific ones that I'd love to, uh, that, that are just, it's just amazing for me. Uh, the first is, uh, man, my local fish store. Uh, James at Community Aquatics here in uh, Deland. I live in DeBerry, Florida. Uh, Deland's just a little bit up the road. I uh, stumbled across his shop one time and man, we just hit it off and uh, it's just been absolutely amazing. We just, uh, we talk about the new stuff in the hobby. Um, we, we talk about what he's doing. We, we get involved with, you know, what I'm doing. Uh, he's got um, some influence in what I'm doing. I got influence in what he's doing. And uh, man, we just do things for each other. Uh, it's just been absolutely crazy how, um, you know, just, uh, man, I mean, just the connections you can make by getting involved in this hobby. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. And then one of my favorite, uh, uh, one of my best friends I consider uh, in this hobby is Mr. Ben Ochart. Uh, man, started following his channel probably three years ago, two, three years ago. I was watching the videos as I was trying to learn the hobby, figure out as much as I could about it. And then lo and behold, he picks up, he's got to move to Tennessee, uh, which brings him from California. I would have never thought I'd have ever been friends with someone that lived that far away in California. Uh, he came to Nashville uh, area, I think is where he's living at now. And um, man, I'll tell you what, um, he uh, came down to Aquashella in Orlando this past year and uh, in June. And uh, we connected at, uh, at Aquashella. We went out for some dinner and talked a ton about fish and, uh, and you know, and just uh, our lives and different things. And man, and we've connected. Uh, I'm uh, actually uh, mo uh, a moderator uh, on his channel. Um, and we talk periodically uh, through, uh, through the week. Uh, you know, every other week or so, we'll reach out to each other. But Man, I'm telling you what, he's interested in helping me and I'm, you know, and again, it's right back at him. I try to help him and, you know, it's just really fun, man. It's exciting to connect with new people, to get to know people, new people in this hobby and to share it with someone. All right, so those are the top five uh, reasons of why someone should be in the hobby or why I've been in the hobby. Um, and just like Mr. Ben Ochart does on his list, which I love, uh, is uh, I got a couple of bonuses for you. Uh, bonus number one, um, reason why I love the hobby or why you should keep fish is, man, number one for me, it's about why I'm even doing this YouTube channel. It's because I know how much I love this hobby and I want to invest back into it. So growing the hobby is uh, one of the bonus reasons why I enjoy um, the opportunity to keep fish. Um, short story with that, uh, I've got uh, some friends of mine that have been over to my house. Um, the lady, she caught, kept fish for a long time, uh, or kept fish a long time ago, and uh, they came over, saw my tanks, and uh, this past Christmas, you know, she loved the tank, uh, and I just turned around and I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna get her a, uh, called her husband, said, hey, you guys, you cool with this? I'm gonna surprise her with a, uh, a little Christmas present. So I went out and bought her a little 10 gallon tank and all the stuff to get it outfitted and set up, and then took him on a trip to one of the local fish stores to buy some fish. And man, I'm telling you what, it's been crazy. They love the hobby. Uh, so much that uh, they went from that 110 gallon to, and they've got a very small house, that they got a 29 gallon, a 36 gallon, and the husband uh, has got a little beta tank on his, um, 
uh, desk in his little office. And so they just absolutely uh, love the hobby. They talk about the hobby every time we, they come over. And man, just to see the excitement of people getting involved in the hobby, man, I just absolutely love it. So that's bonus number one. Bonus number two is gonna, this is a shout out to the wife. Um, she, she came up with this one. It's called uh, Family Time. Uh, it is funny. Now, my kid, my daughter, she's grown. She's out of the house. Her two kids are out of the house. Um, so it's just her and I. And we have, uh, and you can hardly see it, but we got our beagle. Uh, there's a picture or part of a picture. I'm sure you've seen it in the other videos. Uh, summer, that is a part of our family. So there's three of us. And my wife loves it. And she calls it family time. So bonus number two. It's family time. It is a way that we can set aside some time and enjoy each other's company, sit down and talk about the fish or even something maybe about what's going on. But we come into this fish room, we turn the lights off, bring the puppy in, puppy jumps up in my lap or she'll be over there with the wife. And then we just sit here and, and, and talk and, and look at these wonderful and beautiful fish. So. Family time is our second bonus um, reason for keeping fish. And so those are the reasons why I love to keep fish. I hope that you would comment down below and tell me why do you love keeping fish. Uh, and again, please, please help me get this channel uh, viral. I want to grow this channel. Uh, I want to grow the hobby. So please like the video if you like it. Subscribe. Ring that bell so you're notified anytime uh, I drop a new video. And remember, guys, you know what's coming. Keep loving the fish.